Hello once again and welcome to Bring On The Bad Guys for Emotionally14.com The superhero, punchy, kicky, superhero, villainy, explodey, earth, doomsday, monsters type show. <laughs> One day I'll do a slogan, but today is not that day. Yeah, pretty well. That works. Yeah, that works. I'm, Most of it. I'm your host as normal, Brad Harmer Barnes. Normal is an operative word, I suppose. And uh, <laughs> chilled by my consequent patriot, Ian Harmer. Hi. Hi. And uh, we've got our two buddies with us. Yes. Again, we've all changed shirts and everything. <laughs> yes. We've got uh, Dave Mustel. Hello. And Carl Mullings. Hello. How are we doing, guys? Seems like ages. Yeah, yeah boy, it's yeah. been ages, days, yeah. <laughs> some would say. By the magic of editing. Uh, uh, so, um, what did we do last time? We, we had the Cluster Funk Hero Clips game last time as well. That was, uh, this is going to take ages, this game. Yeah. And then, oh, he's dead. Then we had a B match, which lasted longer than the A match. Yes. It was, crazy, it was crazy. fine. It was Emir. Yeah. Fun. It was, it was I amazing. Think, I don't think there's anything wrong with him here, but he wasn't expecting so many critical so clicks. Cri all <laughs> critical <laughs> finals, as it turned out. That's yeah. clicks. Yeah, yeah. yeah that is clicks. Absolutely. Uh, so you guys been superheroing much? You been gaming much? Any movies, any comics, anything you've been enjoying? Joker. 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 How was it? Very weird. Okay. Good, good, weird. I can't put a thing on it. I, there's not a, there's not a tag of this that I can put on that film. But the, the acting is... Oh, very cool one. So amazing. Yeah. I don't think I don't think there's a bad actor in the film. Mm -hmm. Like so, yeah. Of course, it's all centralised around Joaquin Phoenix. Mm -hmm. yeah. There we go. His folks are named for Jay. Sure, why not? Yeah. Um, mm -hmm. And his acting as Joker is phenomenal. Completely different Joker to what we've seen, which is great. Uh, if you guys haven't seen, if you haven't seen the film, see it now. I know you haven't seen it. I know you haven't no, seen it. You can too. See the damn film, guys. It's a uh, you know um, very different Joker take. Uh, from my understanding, not linked to anything. Awesome. Yeah. So it is a standalone film. I was doing some digging, and they're calling it DC Black. Yeah, I heard. I heard the okay. complaint. I heard is that it's set in New York. Is it set in New York? Because it's not set in a, in a DC universe. It's set in Gotham. Oh, it's set in Gotham. Yeah. Okay. It, it, it is set so, in Gotham. Okay, so it's just internet bleating. Yeah, it's okay. it's a it's a more New Yorky Gotham oh, okay. than what yeah. Gotham is depicted okay. in the other DC films. Mm -hmm. um, That's fine. But as I said, it is a standalone yeah. film for the time being. See, I I think That's fine. That's That's what, fine. I've been saying for a while. That's what the DC movies should be doing. Well, you were mentioning yeah. earlier about the fact that DC movies recently, Justice League, with this conversation mm -hmm. today, which was just a oh Avengers are doing good. Yeah. Let's let's well, make an event. Oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And Captain America's fighting Iron Man. Can we do that with Batman and Superman? Without any form of build yeah, any up. Form of build up just, yeah. Yeah. Here's your first film. Man of Steel was a thing, by yeah. the way. If you forgot yeah. about that, because that everyone been, did. Yeah. And uh, for Mummy, I guess. It's, <laughs> yeah, it's. Uh, but I've also thought <laughs> there's actually one of the dividing factors is DC does very good self contained stories, whereas yes. the Marvel, the comics specifically, Marvel tends to run almost like a soap opera. You just kind of jump in with both feet and yeah. kind of run and catch up. Um, like if you went into a bookshop and grabbed a tray of paperback, a DC one is more likely to be a self-contained story yeah. than a Marvel one. It's going to be more likely to be part of a crossover or, or like a soap opera type mm. arc that's going on. It's so, a good thing and a bad thing. Yeah, right? but then if Marvel is doing that with their movies, then DC should embrace their own strengths and do more self-contained movies. And they've done it well with Joker. So, yeah. like I said with the... It is a standalone movie right now. Mm -hmm. They, from what I've been reading online, are very open to, if this does well enough, expanding mm -hmm. the DC Black universe, okay. that they're calling it, because Why it's a... just call it Vertigo? It would make more sense. <laughs> it would, yeah. It would just link to more DC things, Dark, anyway. Oh, I think, no, I think it is DC Dark. I was going to say, it is a DC Dark. No, no, yeah, DC yeah. Dark, not DC okay. Black. Yeah. Um, but yeah, so it's DC Dark, then, uh, but... Got they like haven't linked. Dusk. Dark is black, some would say. <laughs> yeah. Black is a form of dark. Yeah. Um, yeah, no, so it's it's good. Um, other than that, no, not real. No. Superhero reason. I saw Batman Hush, the animated movie. What on earth is that? Very good. It was really good, yeah. yeah. I've never heard of it. No, it's a bit, it was oh, a, awesome. Hush is an awesome Probably about yeah, oh, 10 years ago. Hush is an awesome yeah. hero. I've, well. yeah, I've not read oh, the comic, yeah. and it's only after I saw the movie and looked on the IMDb trivia and stuff, which mm. is what I tend to do. Um, that they changed the ending quite significantly. Oh, really? And not in Rebel Comic, I was like, I think I prefer what they did with the film. 
So I'll have to go and read the comic and see if it, because obviously mm. things will get chopped and changed around for eight minutes. I'll, get, I'll, I'll throw it your way. Yeah, yeah, I'll, 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 I'll leave it watch yeah. that, definitely. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, but I actually haven't. Um, it's one thing to kind of read it in the experience book and kind of go, oh, actually, but just have it that kind of bald fact of the thing, the things they changed, just left me going, no, I think I prefer this. I think that works better. Yeah, so um, I'll, I'll tackle it the other way around. And I saw the Lego Batman movie, which is fucking great. Is it? Yeah, oh, that's that's nice. Nice. that is lovely. That is lovely. Oh, so good, he, including Billy Dee Williams as Two Face. Okay. Yeah. Well, Finally. Seen it. Wicked. Okay. It's really yeah. cool. Yeah. yeah. I need to catch that. Yeah. yeah. Um, so yeah, uh, comics wise, just trucking along as usual. Bit of Spider Man, bit of Superman. Yourself? Uh, apart yeah. from clicks and that sort of thing. You mostly yeah. been doing horror movies, I suppose. Haven't I've you? been doing an awful lot of horror movies and some interesting, terrible ones. Um, uh, did the New Hope recently? That was okay. Yeah, was wrong, wrong show, mate. Wrong show. Yeah, yeah. 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 I was just talking <laughs> on things I've done. Oh, um, cool. it's it's horror still superhero uh, man thing is on one of the streaming services. Is it really? No, yeah. yeah, I've got that. Yeah, no, I don't. <laughs> it looks kind of wank. Like it's, yeah, I'll try yeah. it. I, I don't it's actually a, think any of the horror films I've yeah, seen have works. been comic related. Yeah. Uh, you know what I mean? Hellboy? But I, I haven't seen the new, most recent one. The Crow? I own it, but I haven't seen it. <laughs> Come some time? That's horror? Yeah. <laughs> okay. Oh, I'll see you make a list of horror. Uh, Priest. Them. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> I, thought, I, was, I wondered if you watched any of these. I had a chance. Creep show, didn't they? Yeah, did did creep show? Did, did yeah, okay. yeah. That's creep literally show. comic themed. Yeah, it's a comic in it. The, the concept on that Kristen Bell film. No, I believe you're thinking of Batman. Moving on swiftly. I think I was Keanu. Oh, yes. it was. Yeah. yeah. No, I'm thinking yeah. of. Because we were trying to forget that, really. What so, was this? Salvation is what you're thinking of. Was <laughs> American Psycho? No, no, no. I'm just listing Christian Bale movies now. He's the got pre- guns. The Prestige. No, <laughs> he had he had guns and he was like a ninja, but had a ninja oh, with guns. Not, um, yeah, yeah. Oh god, what was that called? Wait, the gun cutter. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. And he was like, wow. Yeah, yeah. I was thought that was machinist. Constant. Was it? Oh, no, not machinist. No. No. Oh. Oh, yes, yes, that's the one. No, that's not Constantine. Oh, no, <laughs> see, I'm not that old. No, speaking of movies that are wank. Anyway, <laughs> <laughs> uh, anyway, the reason we're here is we've we've been we've doing some hero clicking. We've done some Batmaning recently. We've got a brand new rule system for us to play with oh, and work wow. out. And it is uh, from Night Models. We have the DC Universe miniatures game. So, uh, do you want to roll in that nice looking hardback book? Yeah, that's good on the bottom. Is, that's how stacking things so can oh, go. Oh, come back, we have. Who stacks books that way? No human being. This rather lovely DC Universe uh, hardback book, which retails for 40 fucking quid, because that's so much wrong with the book. The print quality is amazing. This was only ever released as a, a PDF for their first edition stroke beta test. Mm-hmm. So this is the first official edition stroke, uh, second edition. And the artwork, we'll show you get some close up sex in a minute when you're showing the guys here. The artwork and the layout is superb. It's really, really quite lovely, um, including just like a, uh, a potted guide to some DC characters later on. Yeah. Is DC Twilight? Uh, <laughs> sure. Um, so I'm, I'm quite excited by this because mm. um, we played the Batman game. There's a lot of names going by. I, 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 I did just see Zod go past. Oh, Zod's awesome. Yeah, yeah. yeah. awesome. Yeah, Strife as well. Yeah. Um, so, you know, if uh, Clone Wars ever does a chance of the law and pick up, we can swap that over. <laughs> <laughs> um, but, um, how do we feel about the, the DC Universe miniatures game? Initial impressions or expectations? We're looking at heavy hitters, I would imagine, aren't we? <sighs> The DC Universe does seem to have its fair share of heavy hitters. This, DC, yeah, DC Universe seems to be one or the other. You have you have detectives, which is mm. the original set, and then you have gods, effectively. So yes. you have Superman and Wonder yeah. Woman, who are just unkillable monsters, but could yeah. be fun in a game. Yeah. 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 But that, they've also got their own, they've got usually aliens attacking them, haven't they? So yeah. yeah. So, yeah. I'm yeah. expecting this to be, not in terms of mechanics, but in terms of feel. I'm expecting it to have that sort of niche bit hero clicks feels in that it's big name characters throwing their weight around, yeah. slamming things around. Um, you don't. Whereas the Batman game tends to be very game focused. Mm-hmm. When you've had hero clicks, you don't have Joker and a bunch of thugs, which you do when you do Batman. 
You yeah, know, they're, you bring they're, in big guns. They're mortals, aren't they? There's yeah. no NPCs or gangers. Yeah, no good mortals. Mortals. Lots of characters. Big guys smashing yeah, into yeah, each other. Yeah. Named characters, guys who have their own series smashing into yeah, each other. Right. Yeah. Um, so I'm anticipating it being quite a lot of fun because we're a fan of the Batman. It's, it's just game. Yeah, that's, yes. Well, yeah, that's, that's great. And then, you, you really got bitten by it last time. Yes, I, it, it is, it's quite inspiring. Yes, actually, yeah. I can tell when you get bitten by a game. Do you know I can tell? Because a pallet of MDF turns up in my house. <laughs> <laughs> I bought <Get> stuff. <laughs> Bro, I didn't want to get yeah. shot anymore. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You're getting shot fucking hurts in Batman. Yeah, I know, but I'll put more crap on there, more pings. Yeah, yeah. that'd be good. Yeah. Yeah, as opposed to, what did you Oh, yeah, backlit Nightwing. I might have done. Yeah. <laughs> it's got a skyline. Yeah. <laughs> I did stick a bollard on his head until he stood out a bit more. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Looking that adds to the fancy, I'm going to be yeah. honest. <laughs> so uh, we've got some minis uh, launched alongside this, cool. as you expect. And we've got four little games which Night Models have sent along for us to take a look at. So we have uh, Crime Syndicate, who are evil versions of the Justice League. Yep. Mm -hmm. um, we have. The Apocalypse Invasion Force, which is Darkseid's home planet, so expecting parademons and I don't think the chunky good Darkseid. Guys there. No. Darkseid, the guy who could kill Thanos by looking at him. Uh, we have, I'm quite excited by the idea of this, so we have uh, yeah. the Batman yeah. villains set. Nice, yeah. I know, who have you seen? Bane. He's yeah. large. I love, I, I like him. <laughs> like Rob has uh, this sculpt for the Batman game. I love he's crushing the bat signal. Oh, I didn't even notice that. That's brilliant. That's cool. Yeah. I like that. But, uh, the clay face. Clay face. You're a fan of clay face. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I think yeah. that's really nice. Maybe you should see I'm not a fan of clay face. And um, yeah. Solomon Grundy. I've got bad. Solomon Grundy. I mean, sorry. Solomon Kane, born on a Monday. I've had a bad experience with clay face. Yeah. Um, there's a there's a hero clicks episode which is titled after me getting really pissed off with clay face. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so you can find that one. I think, yeah. it's, I think it's titled Clay Prick Does Nothing Again. That's one of those lines. Um, that Scarecrow looks very, very cool. I love Scarecrow. Uh, Scarecrow's my favourite. Has he got one, a so. floating. Oh, yeah, like he's got. Uh, he's on the one. He's got a pumpkin patch. Yeah. That's cool. He's actually on the. Uh, on yeah, the... Uh, Scarecrow's my, my favourite Batman villain, so I'm, I'm really That's pleased cool. he's there. Riddle is quite cool as well. Yeah. Not going to yeah. turn away from that. No. Who is this man? Rachel Cook. Oh, yeah. Yeah. And uh, so we have some good guys as well. We Finally, have the Justice League in the Dark, yeah. including Etrigan, Dead Man, Constantine. John Constantine, Zatanna, and Swamp Thing. Nice. Yes. Yeah. Um, Swamp Thing is possibly my favourite DC character, so I'm really excited yeah. to see him. Really? Nice. Swamp Thing. Yeah. yeah. We have a Swamp Thing in the in the Batman set, though. Yes, we do. Yeah, but yeah. I presume he's. Yeah, he's a different sculpt, a different card, I think. Yeah. 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 Cool. Is yeah. there a crossover between the two games? Uh, some characters right. will cross over. You're not going to get Doomsday or Superman in the Batman game because they would just tear Riddler into shreds. <laughs> yeah. Um, so it's crossover from the Batman game yeah. to this, not there are the, the, What you call mid color Batman is ground level enough that he can fight a load of gangers and muggers yep. around the back of Gotham City, but he's also Batman enough that he can face up against these big nut like, bang. Cool. Yeah. Um, so there's a, what you would call a mid card crossover. Okay. I guess. Nice. Um, yeah. And a model with similar sort of. Uh, sort of similar sort of some same sculpts, but it get reused. Nice. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Um, certainly, um, both. Uh, certainly, the first issue of this was a free PDF download. The Batman models are a free PDF download oh, as really? well. Okay. So if you buy models, it's not like you're being locked out of a rule system. No. You download the other rule book and uh, play away. It's going to be a bloody big PDF in all yeah. honesty. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Expect a couple of games. Bigger. Um, what are we, uh, night models, I really, I think the detail on their sculpts is amazing, especially when they're working resin. Their metal was yeah. uh, hit and miss, in my opinion. As opposed mm -hmm. to DC metal, which was fucking amazing. <laughs> um, so, um, what are we anticipating from this, from the rule system, from models, Dave? It's gonna be faulty. I think you, you're gonna you're gonna be just destroying everything that moves. Some of these so. characters, there's some really powerful characters. Well, the there. ones that would walk through walls. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. In fact, yeah. I believe there are rules for that. Yeah, yeah. This, this is fully all destructible destructible scenery, scenery or something might be. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. you can yeah. do that. It's fully destructible scenery. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, so it's different. It is totally it's, different. It's, it's, yes, it's yeah. Man of Steel versus Zod. You can just, just yeah, yeah. destroy the whole city if you want. There's a, uh, I, I had a quick flick through for this so over. It is a Superman Doomsday scenario in the book. <laughs> okay. Um, nice. I'm excited. 
Yeah, yeah. Really I, I seem to outweigh the good guys. Well, yeah, going by this, there seems yeah. to be an awful lot of bad guys. So, yeah. Uh, and the board justice league of the obviously got well, some. Well, bring them on. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> hey. hey. Okay. Cool. Um, let's have a quick flick through the rule book. Mm -hmm. Once once he's open and take a look at the figures cool. as well. Yeah, cool. Cool. Sounds good. So we have the DC Universe miniature game, which is a lovely, slightly glossy across the uh, what are they called characters. Uh, yeah. The um, there's a name for these three. I can't remember what it's called. It'll come back to me later. The Triforce. There's um, a little gloss effect those guys as well. It's lovely, proper Jim Lee artwork as well. It's a little picture before. That's not quite sexy. Mm. So this is the kind of train you want me to be making. Yes. <laughs> I'm working on it. <laughs> Shirking. That's, that's hard hey, to Hey, a Fortress of Solitude, that's fun. Um, introduction, break down to what a miniature game is. I'd be surprised if a 40 foot rule book could you, was your first foray into. Uh, tabletop gaming, but uh, this is your dipping the toes in. So I'm gonna dump yeah. 40 quid in a book. Uh, runs off uh, D8s, which is unusual. Ooh, oh, okay, yeah, uh, yeah, three foot by three foot playing area as well, which I think is great for a skirmish game. Yeah, no getting away from each other. There's some nice artwork, isn't mm. it? The layout is lovely. Hey. Oh, oh, oh. The layout okay. and the artwork is beautiful. Uh, yeah, just a run down of what you need some counters you can proxy, take measure, etc. Yeah, we've got the volume system from the Batman's games. You just like that's the target area, and if it's like a cylinder Music. running up from well, a base, obviously line like of sight is different. I don't think they need. I mean, it's dark, but I mean, Superman mm -hmm. should be at sea, shouldn't he? Yeah, I mean, Batman specifically states that every game of Batman takes place at night. Yeah, really but Batman's got night vision, doesn't he? So. Yeah, well, there's ways around it, but uh, I don't know if this will have necessarily night time. Um, yeah. Quite. A Dashboard looking unit cards you have for these, by the way. Yeah. A lot of information. A lot of though. info, yeah. Super punch, heat vision, flying punch, freezing breath. That's for Batman, we know enough. Oh, wow. It's Elseworlds abilities, including the Red Sun. <laughs> oh, wow, okay. That's uh, an example of what someone with uh, way too much time and money can do for the yeah. terrain. Total <laughs> <laughs> of justice. Really. Yeah, line of sight. Pretty standard, 360 facing. Oh, nice. Hey, Jason Momoa. Um, so it's kind of similar to Batman game. You have the power phase, you distribute your counters, and then you take turns doing alternate model activation. A lot of artwork. Do we like the artwork, or do we think it's padding, really? There's, there's a lot more pictures than words. Yeah. But, but it does look very pretty. pretty. Yeah, it's good. I'm not going to say that they're, they're thrusting pictures of their gorgeous models at you to yeah. get you to buy them, but. I mean, as gorgeous as they are. They are stunning. And obviously, they're, they're artists, whoever's painting them is. Grilla Grodd! Oh, yes. What the hell? Ugh. That's what? racist. <laughs> is it what? <laughs> Expansive wave attack. Oh, that's a nice bit of. A simple bit of sort of yeah. like gantry in there. Yeah. Mech. Nova for some reason. Mm. Why not? Lobo. Lobo. The yeah. most 2000 AD character ever in DC. <laughs> <laughs> it's uh, team building, it's faction and point based. So we're only just getting team building. Yeah. Normally built to 60 foot. Oh, knights of metal. There's a lot going on. Plate so you have randomized scenarios and you've got some custom scenarios as well. You mentioned earlier that there was like 17, um, 17 scenarios for a whole book. Oh. That's yeah. yeah, quite a chunk. It does, it it does, does suggest that you There's get different deployments there, isn't there? Yep. No, yeah. Yeah. You, you get a lot for your full Superman week. Doomsday, a Brainiac scenario. Have we got a skull ship? Or two? I have two. Yeah. Yeah. Is it just um, two player layer? Yeah. Uh, it seems to be just two player or two teams, yeah. Dark side scenario. Sparse. Big combat. They just said that they put everything in one self-contained book, so you might not be, mm. you know, your forty quid will buy you the complete game yeah. without having to fork out extra. Yeah, yeah there's no extra. Kind of like a potted you need this one as well. Yeah. Oh, potted encyclopedia of uh, the DC universe as well. Yeah. If you if there's characters you don't know. You got a little potted reference. Like you might not have heard of Superman or Batman or Wonder Woman. Actually, that, that no. mammal. <laughs> Quicksilver. 
suppose that, that yeah. gives it a bit of a, an old school rule book feel where you had all the all the background yeah. stuff because you almost I'm not saying you don't need this mm-hmm. but if you're buying into a DC miniatures game you pretty much know something about some yeah. DC characters yeah. but, but to you, have that much you might only be back, knowing Batman and Superman not really oh, yeah, yeah, the, yeah. the yeah. other not the extended universe but, yeah. but, but yeah. that amount of extra information in the back mm-hmm. is, is very old school that's the mm-hmm. sort of thing that mm-hmm. Warhammer 40,000 did in the early yeah, days like give, you, the... give you half a book of background yeah, yeah. Uh, some, guys, some yeah. fractions mentioned slightly <laughs> That's right. That's bizarre. Sorry, right, evil Superman. Oh. Is, that Cap- is that Captain Cold? Uh, Captain Cold, sir, yeah. Yeah, I thought yeah. it was. Yeah. Crime Syndicate. Uh, Black Adam. Black Adam. Mm-hmm. Brainiac. Dark Side. That's in Shazam. Yeah, he was the earlier. He was the earlier. He was the earlier. And of course. Obviously, bad guys, yeah. A lot, a lot of bad guys to bring on, yeah. Mm. Suicide Squad. Army. Sword. Mm. Sword. Mm. Mm. And Deadpool and Deadpool. Mm. And of course, lovely, all these miniatures which are sexy. Beautifully painted. Really good yes. miniatures retailer and some shit ones. <laughs> and uh, adverts for the other two real tickets as well. Batman miniatures game and the Harry Potter miniatures adventure game. So we have the Crime Syndicate, which are basically an evil version of the Justice League from Earth 3, including Thomas Wayne Jr. as Owl Man, Jonathan Allen as Johnny Quick, Khalil as Ultraman, Harold Jordan as Power Ring, and Lois Lane as Superwoman. I picked her up first for someone, though, is it? Got no arms. Uh, there's some arms in the box. That's right, yeah. yeah. Facial sculpt is absolutely beautiful in all of these, especially old ones. Yeah, the detail on this this resin is quite stunning. Yeah, and that's before you give it a scrub up. Yeah, this is this old man? Is it? Yeah. yeah, Thomas Wayne. Superwoman has a lasso, which implies she's kind of Wonder Woman. Oh, Wonder Woman, yeah. yeah. I don't know if I get who Owl Man's trying to be. Not Thomas Wayne. But Johnny Quick. Mm. This, they did run out of villain names for Flash really, really quickly. <laughs> yeah. The, the Flash face yeah. on this yeah. one is Mr. Muscle. That's about it. Isn't it? <laughs> really good. Facial sculpt's amazing. Yeah. Yeah. All the big original sculpt was. It's got the owl claw, owl armor, razor rounds. I was really known for their armour. Yeah. He had the ability to be able to turn his head 360 degrees. Be <laughs> able to prey on small mice. Yes. <laughs> he coughs up his dinner into a small pellet. It's a 60 point force, which is a normal build for 60 points. That's a, that's a team. It's a team, yeah. So we're assuming that each box is going to be a complete team. That would be cool. Yeah. yeah. Unless you have some super heavy hitters. Well, yeah, they, they are nicely made. They, 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 they must be they? fairly heavy hitters if yeah. they're alternative versions of Green Lantern, Superman, Wonder yeah, Woman. Uh, Ultraman is the heaviest at 18 points, most of them are 10 to 12. Okay. Cool. Justice League Dark, which is our good guys. Should be a big bloke in there. You'd hope, right? Ooh. There's a big base for sure. Yeah, base will be bigger. Okay. Wow, that's a giant swamp thing, isn't it? Come on, goodbye. We've got a dude with a cape. Dude with cape? Who is that? Wow. With cape? 69 point force. Oh, okay. a little bit of variation. Yeah. Uh, so mm-hmm. we have John Constantine. We've got a guy with arms. There's for superpowers Firebolt, Magic Seal, Mind Tricks, Hellfire, Dirty Cheetah, Teleport, Fatal Fate, and Charm. Dead Man, Boston Brand, can possess people. Swamp Thing! That is an enormous Swamp Thing. Yeah. <laughs> he's quite <laughs> Look at the face! <laughs> so good, that is. Yeah. He can travel through the earth. Wow. Um, yeah. Once per turn, displace this model anywhere on the game board is base outfit. Awesome. Oh, really? He can cool. just teleport through the earth, yeah. Reminds me of the. Um... Black Orchid. 
Mutants from four. Satana. There's a lot of spells as you'd expect. That's Constantine, I got you. Mm. Got his hand in his pocket. As you should. Yes, lovely. Is he got his smoke cloud as well? Because that looks lovely on the photo. I haven't seen it yet. I'll show sure. so you can see, get the. Oh, that'll be a, a the additional hand. Yeah. Oh, look at that. No pressure. There it is. I think that's the smoke card there. How are you going to do that, Brett? Um, badly. Oh. That's a smoke card. Is it translucent? Oh, that's Swamp Thing's leg. That's not a smoke card. <laughs> <laughs> There's all sorts of bits and bobbies. I'll keep yeah. making that mistake. Uh, Jason Blood and Etrigan the Demon are actually two models on one court card, so I should have like a super shifting focus from one to the other. Right, uh, okay. So is that human okay. form and. Yeah, you're getting chosen to Etrigan the Demon. Yeah. Cool. Ah, there it is. Oh, wow, that is Flames. very nice. That's incredibly intricate. That's going to be a nightmare to get off that sprue. That's what That's what I'm setting myself Let's up for. <laughs> <laughs> I have volunteered. Yeah, this resin does make for yeah. stunning sculpture. It's very clever. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Did we come across the smoke cloud? Yes. Yeah. That's showing up again. Yeah. It is very intricate. That, to get, what, two coloured paintwork on that as well, that's yeah. gonna, I, I thought for a moment it was translucent, but clearly not. Blue and grey wash. That's, that's really, really talented painters who do their artwork. Yeah. That's Anhil Herald's level. <laughs> so, we also have the Apocalypse Invasion Force, which are, how many points are we expecting Darkseid to be? Oh, it's going to be uh, most of the team. He's just got some, got some like, parademons with him. There won't be a lot of points or whatever. So. Jesus Christ! Oh, my word! We've had a swamp. <laughs> swamp thing was big. Look okay. at that. Absolutely wow. unit. <laughs> does he know his heads before he's beside his foot? Uh, probably not. That does seem to be there. But I don't think he is. cares. Have you seen the size of him? Yeah. Putting putting the heads attached to the the uh, slots is, is a seventy two point four. Wow. Okay. Uh, you got Parademon one, two, and three. Mm -hmm. For six points each. Uh, that is Big Barda, who's twelve points. Oh, okay. Mm. Granny Goodness Training, Mega Rod is her power. Oh, wow. I also have uh, Baron von Steppenwolf. Don't sing it. Don't nope. sing it. Can't get taken off YouTube. Uh, and um, not the Dark Side it. weighing <laughs> in at 25 points of a 60 point build. Okay. God Strike, Fire Apocalypse. He's going to be Frank Langella's voice in my head. <laughs> we'll need to fill Superman against him, obviously. Pretty much. Yeah. Anyone have Superman? Does he look anyone? Scary? Mm. I think yes. Rob may have one. Yes. I've got one coming. Oh, he's at Justice League. Yeah, yeah. Awesome. This this guy looks like 40 k ago. Yeah, it does, yeah. They're, they're, they're the parademons. Yeah, yeah, it does. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's, that's. I seem to remember having played against some parademons in here but I'm not. They the, the hero clicks yes. are just they just grunts and they. Mm -hmm. step and walk. Don't sing it. Don't sing it. Very nice. Another one. One more. So you get. You have the wings in there. That's one it. flying parademon and. One walking. You got the wings, two walking. Wings oh, one yeah, looks like he's in. Oh yeah, that's what it is. Oh. One looks like he's in a hole buster. So. <laughs> nice. Mm. Little that cards. Dark Seed is huge. Yes, yes. What do you expect? Enormous. Well, huge, yeah, even so. Okay. Have we, have we saved the best or last? Because we're all quite excited about this This box yeah. looks pretty sexy. Yeah. So we also have the Batman villains set here. Tear up off of Metropolis or Bloodhaven or wherever we are. Setting my board up this week. Oh, <laughs> right. Oh, whoa. wow, wow, wow. Oh, no, that is a face. What the hell? Clayface. There he is. Your favourite. Yeah, he's got some face. Clayface is a stupid cat. However, he's huge. He yeah. looks absolutely terrifying. He is still a prey. He does. <laughs> I 
Is that not a 50 point force? So, Batman so, oh, are at a disadvantage weird. to the parademons and so on. Okay. Who's okay. this spread? That is. Is it Bane? Yeah. Oh, yeah, Kyle worked it out. Oh, well, yeah. So, you've got Scarecrow with Fear Gas Toxin, which looks like it'll be fun. Rachel Ghoul, which just looks like a pretty hard hitting <laughs> LA guy. <laughs> what is that? Is that an arm? It's a Solomon Grundy's arm. Solomon Grundy? Yeah. Not Solomon Kane. No. Punches like a truck. Immunitary so and regen. He's got brought his steering wheel with him. Bane. Titan Dose. Bane, he's got his out there. Once <laughs> per game, he can inject himself with venom to get plus one strength oh, attack and speed. Oh, my word. Nice. Uh, he's definitely not a looker, is he? No. I suppose. Can't kind of expect it, but... Where have I lay my hat? Is my bow? What was that one, bro? Riddler can confuse and baffle people as a lot of it, especially if it's like scenario specific things, you can induce a penalty on them trying to actually win the scenario. Okay. <laughs> I found. As he should be. Clayface's what arm. The hell? <laughs> That's his arm. You can't even see that on the box, I didn't see that one coming. <laughs> awesome. Clayface is invisible until he performs an attack or grab. Oh my god. Yeah. He's, biggest he's skull. A pool, he's a pool of mud. <laughs> base. It's sort of like extra pieces to the base. Is a really, Do you yeah. think that you would just kind of stay away from any pool just of mud you'll notice? Yeah, it's just like, oh, yeah. okay, maybe not. There's a lot in that box. That's what I saying. There was tons in there. So, even so, the Dark Sea box is more powerful than this one. Which yeah. doesn't surprise us. No, no. no. Not at all. Is that his other arm? <laughs> yeah, I think so. My oh, word. <laughs> uh, it looks like optional arms. Oh, okay. So you can even have this like okay. blade or pendulum. Blade or a yeah, yeah. Ankylosaurus yeah. tail for intense purposes. Riddler. Oh, was it? it only nice. does Riddler, wasn't it? Yeah. Must have missed that bit. So Understandably, do we, small do we com compete for who paints all those little question marks on his suit? <laughs> <laughs> Very nice, though. There's some nice sort of extra little bits here, yeah. isn't there? Yeah, there's a lot yeah. of intricate details in this, which is definitely uh, not going unnoticed. Who's that? Sure this must be Scarecrow's sma torso. Bane smashing up the oh, yeah, yeah, signal. Yeah. Oh, the yeah, Bane's big leg. That's, that's, that's Scarecrow's torso. torso. Yeah. Get, get that. Is that Bane stamping on the back signal? Yeah, oh, scary. okay, yeah. <laughs> and, uh, Scarecrow comes with a pumpkin patch. Brilliant. Oh, what? Does he mount himself into that, I assume? So he's crushing the, the bat signal? Yeah. yeah. Which does make sense, considering Bane. Mm. Well. Not a fan of that. Halloween every day. <laughs> Lots of parts. We well, thought Clone Wars looked good. Yeah. Mm. yeah. That was last week, wasn't it? Really? Yeah, yeah, yes. a long time ago. Yes. Now. Yes. A long time. I mean, you've had time to wash your t-shirt and everything. Yeah, exactly. Is this for the, the patch as well? The, oh, no, they must, be, uh, they must attach the scarecrow. Yeah, yeah. some yeah. of them actually Crows. fly off scarecrow. Um, God, did, did you have on those? That's yeah, they're amazing. amazing. Wow. Holy cow. Oh, Jesus. Very okay. Cool. That's just there is, that's the thing ridiculous. Is, that's <laughs> awesome. Yeah, that's it's exactly that. It's like... There is no need for that level of detail. It is <laughs> greatly appreciated. You love it, yeah. How wobbly is that sword? No, that's, that's it's pretty good. Yeah. Yeah. Straight as an arrow. Except that it's curved, obviously. Mm -hmm. it's, a, it's a scimitar. Maybe. Right? Yeah, sideways. It's nice and straight. Is it a scimitar? Is it a scarecrow? Oh, where, where shall I go? Oh, yeah, that's fair enough. Yeah. Um, I couldn't see scarecrow's head, but I'm sure it's around. I hope. I mean, it's not model, so it's not guaranteed. Probably attached to another piece somewhere. Yeah, yeah. If you've got or arms, scarecrow's legs. If you've got arms and legs for scarecrow. Maybe. The head will be, be attached there somewhere. Is that his head there? No, yeah, that's Bane's hand and backpack. Who's that one? What's that one? There you go. Okay. There he is. There's oh, there. his hat. Oh. You've got that on. I would have shown that's another bit. Nice. Is that locking in or is that niggling? Yeah, I'll be clear. Amazing. 
Okay, so there we are, the DC Universe miniatures game from Night Models, the Apocalypse Invasion, Crime Syndicate, the Justice League Doc, and the Batman Villains. Initial impressions, Kyle? Models are really cool. They are. They are very, very detailed. Um, yeah, there's a lot to be done here. Um, of course, not in a, oh yeah, you need to build them sense. Mm -hmm. Obviously, we've seen a little bit more intricate uh, with the Legion stuff. Mm -hmm. um, last week, yeah. Last week, oops. Um, uh, but there is definitely a lot here, and the size of some of these things as well are, uh, mm -hmm. yeah, a bit in awe. Yeah, so Dark Side is intimidating, them. isn't he? Yeah, I was surprised by the size of um, something yeah. as well, to be honest. Yeah, it's 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 huge. Really big. Yeah. Well, that, that clay face is quite large as well, wasn't it? Yeah. I think clay like face is wasn't it? Yeah, I, I do like that, kind of, as you say, that like club. Mm. Um, yeah. Well, it's the interchangeable arm, is it? It's the club, yeah. or the, do you want a spade or a club? Yeah. What do you want? Yeah. So, yeah, that's good. I don't think that's really going to be interchangeable yeah. for long. I think these guys might have been a bit underwhelming because they're not characters who are immediately familiar with the crime syndicate. They're not characters who are immediately familiar with them. They do seem a bit like bootleg Justice League. But I think they're going to be evil in the title. Mm. Yeah. I think they're going to yeah. hit fucking hard. Um, I think these are going to be the fun guys to play. And I think yeah. these are going to be the nails guys to play. Yeah, mm. I think it's... Yeah. Uh, we're going to be seeing a lot from the Justice League guys. Mm -hmm. uh, there are some characters in here which I'm not mm -hmm. straight away aware of, mm -hmm. um, but I think that's good. It's nice yeah. to see some more of that, some more of the B yeah. team, for instance. Well, it's uh, much like if, if you're doing a historical game and you get yeah. into a theatre of it and then you play a game about it, and then that almost like your interest ricochet off into another oh, exactly. area. Yeah. The number of times you've picked up a hero clip of a character you've never heard of and then mm -hmm. gone off and read their comic. Yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 So, Done um, research from there. So. Yeah, I would say. Um, if you're not a big DC guy, play a few games with, this, with us. You next to me, could be like, "Oh, I've bought a lot of <laughs> so, so I have all of these. I now. really liked the Crime Syndicate. I bought the complete run. So um, I thought the rule book was beautiful. That's oh, yeah, yeah. it's a well, lovely rule book. It's a quality piece of work. I mean, you is, talk yeah. about the price, but that is forty pounds for a rule book. Yes, yeah, it's generally the price is for, for I'm, 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 I'm yeah. and scenarios. I'm yeah. Scenarios up the wazoo. Mm. Yeah. yeah, I really really like that they're not uh, price getting it. The fact mm -hmm. that you can get the, P you said the PDFs for free, yeah. isn't it, online? The fact that you can do that and it's kind of a then open source platform mm -hmm. for, hey, just buy the models and you're kind of ready to go. Um, that is a really nice touch. Yeah. Uh, makes it very approachable, mm -hmm. but I think the only issue for that is, I don't think this is going to be your first miniatures game. No, I think that's something that's that makes sense. I think yeah. you probably come from somewhere else. Most yeah. like Heroclix or possibly Batman as well. Well, definitely. So if you have some form of experience, even if it is quite mm -hmm. early on, like Heroclix, because yeah. Heroclix is quite beginner friendly, mm -hmm. uh, I, I like to think at least. Um, and then being able to move into something a little bit more hardcore when it comes mm -hmm. down to the way this seems like it plays. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, it's got more strengths to it as such. Yeah, there's more intricacies um, on all of the characters and in the game itself. It's got a lot more depth. So yeah. I think being able to provide this basically to free for people and for those people who want the physical copy, who don't want to spend 40 to 50 minutes printing everything out on double sheets mm -hmm. of paper. Um, yeah, it, it's really good. Um, what do these retail for? What's the PS? Uh, it varies. It varies. Like 30 to 40, I think. Yeah. That's not too bad, though. That's pretty good. Yeah, uh, as well as like I said, off camera, is like, yeah, this might be 40 quid. Or like the Watchmen set you picked up recently is yeah. like 50, 60 quid retail mm -hmm. price. Mm -hmm. uh, that sounds like a lot for it, but it is a complete team. And you can spend 50, 60 quid on hero clicks and not want to use any of them. No, I, have I have done blind. Yeah, yeah, I, I have yeah. done that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like you can buy like secondhand. Well, you can yeah. buy like bricks. Yeah, forty quid for a game, you're definitely going to use. You know, oh, yeah. you know, you're getting the yeah, you're putting yeah, the characters yeah. you want. Yeah. To yeah. Play. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, Which does remove that like, oh, what am I going to get factor? Mm -hmm. But Which also, then you know, like you, some don't. So, yeah, yeah. But then you know what you're getting exactly mm -hmm. in the box. Well, like, I know what this does. As well, we're very good. Yes, yeah, more robust as well. I'm really excited to play this one. Yes, yeah, yeah, yeah it, it, it just tags on to the Batman game that we've already Tags on to the Batman game, but also has the feel of Hero Clicks. I think it's because the be punchier. Big punchy setting, laser blasts going off, people being thrown into buildings. I think it's going to have the vibe of Hero Clicks, hmm. but with a more involved engine. Hmm. Yes. And fully destructible scenery. Yeah. Uh, that's going to be. I don't. Again, I don't envy you. When it comes down to having <laughs> to build yeah, this sort do, of stuff. To be honest. Um, yeah, that is that's gonna be interesting. Yeah. I'd like to see how that works. But 
Yeah. Uh, <laughs> uh, so we haven't done this for a while. Favourite sculpt? Oh. Dave. Oh, I'm just under the bus first. I don't know. Could we go for a favourite sculpt for each box, man? Oh, go on then. Kind of, oh, yeah. see, uh, you let him do it. Go on then. Well, you, you, well, next time we do Hero Clicks, you can do a favourite sculpt for each booster. The thing is, it's, it's, <laughs> you've, got the, you've got the big guys that are really. Mm. I think um, they draw your eyes really straight pop, away, don't yeah. they? Yeah. Yeah. Then you've got guys like Scarecrow, because that is a phenomenal yeah, yeah. Well, Were we talking about the actual crows? Like, there's no need for yeah. the detail that's on them, yeah. but yeah. Yeah. the detail's yeah. there. Um, so yeah, I, I, I would say Scarecrow for the Batman villain. I would agree, but that's because I am gay for Scarecrow. <laughs> that's fine. Yeah. I think it's 2019. I think your eyes go straight to the, the clay face because it does look impressive. Yeah, but yeah. Yeah. detail yeah. wise, that, that's Solomon Grundy when you actually see his yeah. face. Oh, definitely. Yeah. Well, I don't think it's not a nice face. On the best but sculpt. No, no. This, no. This is, to, I'm surprised we didn't turn the, turn the video back on and we were just going. Yeah, yeah for about 10 minutes. This set really, they're basically in body armour, a lot of these guys. So they're, 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 kind of, yeah, they're kind yeah. of, yeah, they're kind of not the mechs. Yeah, like that. the yeah. mechy looking, like, yeah, yeah that's, that's, that's I like how impressive they made Dark Side look. Yeah. He looks so commanding. It's just yeah. like the detail on something. Yeah, the yeah. like moss yeah. and that sort of yeah. thing. Yeah. Yeah. Um, even, even, even this guy, I mean, to be honest, this guy is pretty much the same sculpt as. Doctor Manhattan, mm -hmm. yeah, mm -hmm. slightly different arm pose and obviously a different head, but like, and again, it's, just, it's a very basic character. But the, the detail, head. and the musculature, and everything is just <laughs> Doctor Manhattan, <just> gorgeous. <laughs> it's yeah, it's kind of it's, it's yeah. so hard to pick. In the, one one, one thing thing. I will say yeah. about the, all the night models is having the Watchmen as well. Mm -hmm. The one thing I'm not sure about with them is the fact that they have sculpted bases. And like, like diorama style bases, mm -hmm. I think you're supposed to be moving these guys around fighting. And yeah, like I've got yes, Night Owl carrying the, a chimney the, between the, his legs. There's an amazing, amazing, there's an amazing Wonder Woman which is basically walking around on a load of swords. Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 I, I, yeah. Saw, I saw yeah. some people comment about that yeah. online. It's I, just like it's all well and good having that detail, but it doesn't make yeah. sense. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. they look phenomenal. But as gaming pieces, you would just want. Cool. So these are brilliant. I mean, mm -hmm. That's a really nice pose. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, all of these guys, and they're quite basic without the without the bases and what have you. And they're nice combat -y type sculpts. Mm -hmm. So I don't want to criticise it for extra detail because you know I'm a miniatures man myself. Mm -hmm. um, I think they should have just gone for so combat type like poses. Yeah. Know, for for combat miniatures for the game. Poss mm -hmm. Possibly give you an alternative diorama if you want mm -hmm. to just collect yep. them. Yeah. It, it does seem well, they've gone for a collector's market as well. Well, I think yeah, certainly definitely. the Scarecrow with his pumpkin patch where he's yeah, yeah, and yeah. that sort of thing, yeah. yeah. It looks great, but if you're fighting in a game, you've got a slightly... It's a diorama from, rather than a yeah. combat picture. Yeah, 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 I get you. Yeah, if, if, yeah. You're, if, you're, if, you're, if when you're painting Legion, for example, you, you're basing them to go on a battlefield. Yeah. If you were to suddenly start putting, uh, you know, putting them on plinths and stuff, mm -hmm. they're just not going to look quite right. Mm -hmm. You've got, you've got Vader... Sitting in his, his command chair, mm -hmm. it's not going to move around the battlefield. It's, no, it would no. look lovely, but it doesn't quite rock. Yeah, I suppose the devil's advocate for that. Commode. He can say commode, it's okay. <laughs> I suppose, <laughs> devil, <laughs> I suppose like, the flip of that is just they can be used as collectibles. Yeah, um, yeah, I suppose yeah. it's the benefit of all Yeah, obviously they're going for that market yeah. as well. There is an element that people do buy and these just for painting. To be honest, yeah, I, I, I could do that. I could quite happily. And oh, I'm, I'm not going to spend detail. that much money on these miniatures, mm. but I could on some of these. Yes, these are. Amazing. If you find like a set of characters cool. that you really like, definitely. Yeah. So I uh, understand these initial impressions as we've yet to take this out for a spin because we've got some assembly work to do, but um, there will be at least one DC Universe miniatures gameplay yes, oh, yeah, 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 in the future. Yeah. Um, initial impressions of any DC Universe miniatures game, thumbs up, thumbs down. Yeah, it's, I'm, I'm, excited. Doing it. I'm excited for this yes, one. Yes, it does look really good. Yeah, and, 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 and like so I'm, like the I'm as someone who's principally a Marvel fan, but it's grown to like DC, it just looks fucking amazing. Mm. <laughs> yeah. They do look punchy. Yeah. yeah, yeah. It's coming for you, Crisis Protocol. <laughs> God, it's been thrown down. Yeah. We've got that we're, we're here first. Yeah, <laughs> the Marvel throws their company down, but it's on their powers. <laughs> <laughs> I've <laughs> nothing no. to go on. <laughs> <laughs> okay, 
guys, thanks so much for watching. This has been Bring On The Bad Guys for Emotionally14.com. What's Emotionally14? It's a website containing fantasy, sci-fi, horror, comedy, superheroes, tabletop gaming, and all other sorts of things within the geeky hemisphere that you can find at Emotionally14.com. And you can follow them on all social media networks at Emotionally14. If you want to follow Bring On The Bad Guys, then you can follow us on Instagram at Bring On The Bad Guys. And it works slightly differently on Facebook, so if you want to find us on Facebook, it's at Bring Bad Guys, which sounds a little bit like a command, but roll with it. If you want to follow me on Twitter and Instagram, you can do so at RealBradHB. Ian, where can people find you? Uh, find me on Instagram on Great Elba. Awesome. Kyle, where can people find you? Uh, Cody Carlson on Twitter and Instagram, Cody1344. And Dave, where are you going to be? I'll be on Instagram on DaveDCLXVI. And on Facebook under Milton Hundred Ward and Ames Club. Okay, awesome. Okay. Thanks very much for watching, guys. Um, there'll be Constantining and Ultramaning <laughs> and Darksiding coming up yeah. very, very soon. Bye. Bye. Bye.